Meghan Markle's crucial career move questioned as expert sends ominous warning. Exclusive, a PR expert said that Meghan is pretending to have a brand and if I were an investor I would be worried about how I would get my money out. Meghan Markle's lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard has become a venture where it looks like people are panicking to try and make money back, a PR expert has told Express.co.uk. The Duchess of Sussex soft launched the brand in March and reportedly plans to sell a number of lifestyle products including food, home products, and pet food. But her fans are still waiting for the official launch of the business. PR and branding expert, Matt Yanofsky, has major doubts over how American Riviera Orchard will succeed. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. He told Express.co.uk that if he were an investor he would be trying to pull his money out. Mr. Yanofsky said, I have been wrong before, but I would say as of right now it is difficult. Maybe one of the products will be a hit, or maybe she will team up with the right manufacturer or right company. But outside looking in right now, it looks like people who are panicking to try and make money back. I'd be surprised if it succeeded, but all power to them. I hope it does. Mr. Yanofsky believes the brand is struggling to live up to its early hype. He continued, it all comes down to this, is the base of fans for Meghan big enough to support this? Can it catch up with what it should be by the time the money runs out? Anything is possible, but as of right now, if I were an investor, I would be worried about how I would get my money out. They are pretending they have a brand. Maybe it becomes one through the back door, but right now it is ominous if you are trying to make money. The Sussexes were approached for comment but declined. Meghan Markle made huge demand to compete with Princess Kate. Meghan Markle believed Prince Harry's starter home, Nottingham Cottage, wasn't substantial enough for the couple. The Duchess of Sussex reportedly had grander ideas than to live in Prince Harry's starter home at Nottingham Cottage, which is where Meghan Markle had relocated prior to her marriage to Harry. A royal commentator has claimed Meghan Markle's fixation to live in Windsor Castle came from her rivalry of Princess Kate who lived with Prince William and their children in Kensington Palace. Kinsey Schofield previously told GB News, she wanted to share the same space with the Queen, Elizabeth II, and she was denied that space for multiple reasons. This comes as Meghan confessed in the Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan she thought the couple would live somewhere more regal after getting engaged. Speaking of his living arrangements, Prince Harry said, as far as people were concerned, we were living in a palace. And we were, in a cottage. Meghan added, Kensington Palace sounds very regal, of course it does. It says palace in the name. But Nottingham Cottage was so small. The Mirror reports Meghan was told living in Windsor Castle would not be private, and was warned the couple's privacy would be intruded upon as there are numerous public tours of the castle during the year. William and Kate's central London home, apartment 1A at Kensington Palace used to belong to Princess Margaret. The living quarters is spread over four floors and features over 20 rooms, including three kitchens and nine rooms for members of staff. It was refurbished at a cost of £4.5 million to the taxpayer with a new roof and electrics, and the removal of asbestos. Royal expert and author Christopher Warwick said, all of these royal residences at Kensington Palace are called apartments, which of course makes people immediately think they are flats like the American term for an apartment. They are not. He explained, if you kind of think of them as being these wonderful red brick terrace houses because they are all joined but separate houses. Harry and Meghan moved to the US to pursue a career as a power couple after stepping down from the royal family although that hasn't quite worked out as yet. The royal family could and should have treated Meghan Markle better, according to a royal commentator. She and her husband Prince Harry stepped down as working members of the monarchy in 2020. 
The couple have since launched several public attacks on senior royals. Royal commentator Jenny Bond claims that the royal family could have protected Meghan better during her time in the monarchy. Bond said, Meghan could have been such a credit to the royal family she is an independent, forthright woman with her own career, her own thoughts, her own charities and causes. She could have been exactly what a modern monarchy needs. I think the monarchy didn't act as carefully as they should have done. But Meghan is by all accounts a bit of a diva. She didn't like what she saw, and she didn't like her wings being clipped. Harry and Meghan moved to the US to pursue a career as a power couple after stepping down from the royal family. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have gone through with a professional separation this year after several joint projects as a couple failed. The couple has begun to pursue solo projects and undertake solo engagements rather than making joint appearances. Prince Harry undertook engagements in New York, London and South Africa while Meghan remained in California in September. Meghan Markle also made a couple of appearances this month without Prince Harry. The couple's joint projects have not worked out for the Sussexes, with setbacks including being dropped by Spotify and a backlash from many on their consistent public attacks on the royal family. Over the last 12 months, the couple has changed tactics and gradually separated their projects with Prince Harry undertaking many solo public engagements. The Sussexes are also working on separate projects for Netflix despite signing a lucrative deal as a couple after leaving the royal family. Prince Harry Meghan Markle headed for divorce. Report says Sussexes have a blueprint for separate lives. Rumors around divorce of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan Markle do rounds as they attend events separately. Harry's recent solo trip to Lesotho fueled speculation. Sources suggest they are living separate lives, although close contacts assert they remain happy together. The Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, and his wife, Duchess Meghan Markle, have been plagued by divorce speculations as each continues to attend events alone, reports said the couple is living completely separate lives. Radar Online reported that Harry's recent solo trip to Lesotho in Africa, where he was seen smiling ear to ear, has further intensified rumors about his marital woes with Markle. The couple is known for joint promotions for charities but has been seen at such events alone in the recent past. Additionally, the report added that Harry celebrated his 40th birthday with friends and not family. Harry and Meghan are going to live separate lives and have a blueprint for doing so. They have been drifting apart for a while, with Harry's desire to return to the UK, where his old drinking buddies are and his hope to return to the very comfortable fold of the royal family putting a real strain on their marriage. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.